The first time I saw the Bloodline putter was at Riviera and uh, I was working with Xander Shoffley, he's one of my students, and we saw it sitting on the side of the green, standing by itself. And for years, there was a putter, I, I can't, 20 plus years ago that stood by itself, but it was the size of an iPad because it had to be heavy enough to hold a metal shaft. And I've always been interested in that idea of being able to know that you were aimed where you wanted to aim. So when I saw the putter standing there, I looked at Xander and I, and I said, like, this is a game changer. Like this, you know, we talk about aim all the time because aim is one of the, my 10 commandments of putting that I got through my mentor, Carl Welty. And so again, the very first time I saw it, I said, if, if this putter can stand here and we can stand back and aim it, like this, this, this takes away one of the 10 commandments of putting. So it was, it was a, it was a revelation, I guess, if you will.